Look at that Viper ACR in the morning. Well, this is it. First time towing with the F450 Platinum. It's going to be epic. This truck is an absolute unit. Now the ZR1 is done at CSP and thank God it was only an oil pan bolt that came out. Nothing big, nothing major. The ZR1 is fine. She will be ready for Corvette to Carlisle and race motive in like seven days. I do wanna make it clear. Um, I am not under the impression that I need this truck to tow my one car. This is for eventually getting a bigger, a much bigger trailer and towing both of my vehicles at the same time. But regardless, it still is nice to have this because the T-Rex tows really well, it really does. But this tows better, what can I say? I don't even wanna know how much the overall bill is going to be because if you look, we have, well now we have almost a half a tank, but we had a quarter of a tank and we had 187 miles to go until E, which means I think if you drove pretty reasonably, I think you could get 700-ish miles to a tank in this truck and that's unreal, like crazy, but it makes sense. You know, if you have a big F450, you might tow thing, you might live out in the middle of nowhere and you have to tow things for a very long time. Don't wanna have to worry about finding a fuel station if you're out in thousands of acres of farmland, whatever. So that makes a lot of sense that it goes for a very, very long time between Phillips. $74, so I'm guessing it caps out at 74 because that's an even number. I think that's highly unlikely. It would stop there naturally. So uh, we're not gonna find out what it says when it's actually full, but um, yeah, I I'm guessing it's gotta be close to 700. Love the lineup, love that C5, the CTSV, the ZL1, the other ZL1, and the RX8, okay. Maybe it's LS swapped, I don't know. That would be a good idea though if it was because they are horribly unreliable. But again, a big thank you to CSP for, and Andrew for seeing my car and getting it done because uh, it was a very, very much a time crunch and um, I'm just, thankful that we got it done and there she is up there oh the big wang sticks out and uh, she is ready to rock and roll wow and look at the cars look at the freaking cars I gotta remember I'm in a dually here this is actually a little close now <laughs> um, yeah you think the t-rex is wide until this shows up you know the, what? I, can what the show you. I can actually show you okay because I have one over here that we stole a bulb let's see it so what do we got going you, on? Your oil cooler was loose. Okay. So on your oil pan, you have an oil cooler attached to it. Okay. This, this guy, these uh, bolts, these Torx bolts here. Okay. Were, uh, it's disgusting over here. They were not tight. So that has been working itself loose. Somebody likely put it in hand tight and then forgot to go back and torque it. Gotcha. Yeah, and that's, I mean, that's what the oil was yeah. dripping off of. So. Yeah, so when I when I messaged you that there was a little coolant in it, that's because coolant goes through that to cool the oil. That's when you when you really scared me. Yeah. You said, hey, by the way, it's leaking coolant too. And I'm like, that doesn't it, seem good. Yeah. But <laughs> that, that was like the ideal part to go wrong, to leak oil and coolant and not be a big deal. Yeah, so we put another bolt in. As you see, I'm missing a bolt. So you, you got one off of this wall, I appreciate that. You yeah. stole your own bolt for me. I don't know if we're ever gonna use that, but don't worry, we'll bill you for it. Okay, <laughs> good. Your car in uh, STD. <laughs> yeah, you can see his, but he might not edit it. So you can see <laughs> we, CSP's we version. don't edit anything bad out. <laughs> Just and leave. somehow we've never been demonetized. 991. Ooh, nice. In uh, the STD correction factor. Gotcha. Uh, and the factor that we normally use is SAE, that's that's like actually the industry standard, unless you're on YouTube. <laughs> unless you're on YouTube, you just lie and whatever the huge number is, yeah. that's what you say. Yeah. I mean, it just corrects to like a denser, uh, a denser like air basically. So okay. the correction factor tries to standardize to like 70 some degrees versus 60 some degrees and 60 some degrees, your car will make more power. It's like, that, that's all it's doing. So there's still all legit numbers. So you made 991 in standard and that's what like 19 horsepower off from yep. what it would have so been it made 10 10 LMR. yeah which yeah, everyone says like oh you lie your car makes 1200 wheel this and that no see like it, it that's and that's well within the margin yeah. of error yeah, so it really only makes it makes about a thousand so you average the two thousand yeah. wheel and exactly it's hot as like can be here yeah and then oh, yeah. because it's hot it and your car started heating up it dropped all the way down to like 920 SAE from 970. So That's it dropped brutal. Like 40 some 
up to 46 rear wheel horsepower. Blower so. car, really hot out. That's what yeah. happens. So what do you think? Should we get the inner chiller? That would help. I, I think I think you should. When I go to the racetrack, I'll have my quarter mile pass. And by the time I'm back to the lane, I'm all cooled down. Sorry, like, cool. All the way back down. Not like Sweet. half of the way, not like any BS. It's just like you you can run hot lap over and over and over it's pretty again. cool that pretty cool stuff pun intended <laughs> andrew said that you're a believer and if you're a believer i kind of feel like maybe <laughs> I, I should see that's how i was i was like that inner chiller doesn't work twin turbo car guys if you can't see down in there so if you feel right here it's, so this is the inner chiller well this is the inner cooler the okay. inner chiller is another piece it's basically your heat exchanger then that cools okay it down. If you want to feel right here, this is where the brick is. That's where the intercooler is. You feel how hot it is? Yeah. That sucks, right? Yeah, it's very hot. And it's going to be hard to cool that down on a day like today. This is going to give you another 50 and it's going to be right. consistent. Wow, that's nice. That's ins oh that's gosh. honestly, I wish, like, it's going to be so dumb on camera because you can't yeah, feel it, but, like, that's <laughs> awesome. 79 there, and what's, like, the regular car? 135. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. There you go. Well, it's it's warming up now, too. That's, yeah, it's, only yeah, like, it's been off it now on, for, like, a minute. This yeah. is going to be another, like, 20 degrees cooler at least. That's awesome. That is awesome. The coldest IAT I've seen is on the initial chill was nine degrees. Nine degrees. Nine degrees Fahrenheit. Good lord. That's uh, that's impressive. Around see between twenty and fifty on a day like today. That's got to be huge. That's got to be huge. Because like I know I'm losing. Well, what I lost forty You've horsepower lost after one run. Horsepower. Over like two runs. It all makes sense now. Had I had the inner chiller, the tie would have walked him. Yeah. That's the only reason I lost. Yeah. Well, we'll get you a force induction inner chiller. Yeah, I'll, I'll need I an inner Kirk, chiller. I, I said he's not going to do it, so now I'm going to have to send him this video. I'm going to do he's it. I be think. Like, oh, he's probably gonna after my race motive events, I'll do it. Okay, that sounds good. Just in time for winter. Perfect time. Yeah, yeah. So you'll get the coldest. <laughs> so if you open butthole. <laughs> Dude, I... Okay. All right. Every time I come here, it ends up being a Tesla episode, but we're back in the ZR1, and you know what? Electric cars are great, and I am fully prepared to admit now that they are better than gas cars, but I still like the sound of a good old-fashioned V8 with a fat cam in it, and that's what we got. So I will enjoy this car for as long as I am legally allowed to. On a hot day like today, 96 degrees, that inner chiller is very cool, like, <laughs> no pun intended, very cool. I think I want one because you lose, you know, these Corvettes and every any blower car, you lose so much power in the heat. And, uh, you know, to have like 30 to 40 degree intake temps, Eric was saying he sees like 20, 25 degrees. I mean, that is, that's a huge advantage. Pulling up onto the trailer. Now this time it's dry outside, so we don't have to apply any speed. We can kind of go real slow, but we're lined up pretty good there. A little bit left, maybe. It should be good. Okay, I think we're good. Let me check my front camera here. Yep, all right, we're good. Sweet, done deal. Load it up, and I'm sweating like a hog it's been a long dude, day tired, long day driving high. after a while man dude, dude but this thing does drive nice yeah, i was all stressed out all morning <laughs> like we're installing this aero kit yeah for one of the gm it. guys we just put our kit on his car 
didn't get in until like this morning. Yeah. Oh, dude, I'm like, I'm gonna <laughs> fall asleep at like six o'clock tonight. Or That's all seven right. Seven o'clock. We're gonna have fun. From all the nerves, yeah. That's all right. Uh, We're gonna have fun, so. I'm good now. All right, buddy. All right. I'll see you at the booth. Always something, but yeah, we just actually, so one of the GM guys who designed and works on the C8 team, the engineering team, um, has our kit on his car, which was a big deal, obviously, to like make sure it gets on right. He did, and he'll be here as well. I think he is here already. Yo! How's the Dude, it looks epic. It looks amazing. Yes, our kits are almost ready for you guys. I've been getting a ton of people asking, um, all you C8 owners out there, I know that you're chomping at the bit to get a kit on your car. I think ours is one of the coolest looking ones out there, and I think we're the only ones offering forged. There might be one or two others, but um, our kits look really good. We wanted to get at least 25 of each produced first before we released them. That way you guys aren't waiting like two weeks when you order or three weeks, four weeks, whatever. Um, but they will be ready and on our website very, very, very soon. We got Clarence is cool hey, and collected. Clarence. What's yeah, up, buddy? <laughs> that is a good guy. Well, Rich looks like he's been, I don't know, where I, were you? You know what? I, I got here and my car was dusty and you know me. You look like I gotta clean my whole car. Spent the weekend and in the Sahara I, Desert. Yeah, look at you. That's what it felt like. I'll tell you, it's like 94. He looks and... like a dusty, determined traveler. Just <laughs> I, I am. You got <laughs> so it right. Legit. That's right. You are covered. <laughs> There you go. Rich, you're gonna have like a heart attack. This Please don't do this. Rich like he did when no. he died. Hey, <laughs> he I go looks like it. he was swimming. <laughs> this might be my future, I'm not sure yet. So here we are. You don't wanna be an employee. Here we are at Carlisle, and Mike is just about to take his car off the trailer, the ZR1. Wait a minute, we gotta catch this bad boy. day and uh, we're leaving the car getting back in the 450 and then tomorrow we will be at the show so tomorrow's gonna be a lot of fun and I can't wait so we'll load up everything here in the 450 rich you're gonna drive it home uh, no <laughs> favorite the ZR1 at Corvette to Carlisle as well as yeah what's up not only the ZR1 but the other big fan favorite Rich is here as well Rich is having a great time what's up buddy C4 super rare C4 with the low cut windows and windshield that is awesome I think it's a Callaway twin turbo car and that is so freaking cool this is a very rare C4 howdy it's a Callaway twin turbo right that is awesome. Sweet, sir. I love it. I love it. One of 10. Wow, that is awesome. So cool. The wind is blowing now, so I'm not sure how the audio is going to turn out on that one, but 
very rare Callaway Corvette twin turbo Speedster C4. A very rare gem, a unicorn C4 bet. Wow, that is cool, very cool. You never know what you're gonna find. And I love that stuff because, you know, 90% of all of it is your normal Corvettes, like mine's a normal one. And like, yeah, it's modified, but they're all normal. And then once in a while, you get something really, really rare and different like that. Taking cover from the wind behind this uh, GMC Denali. And uh, as what usually happens at these shows, I get offers on my, well, sometimes, not every year, but uh, I got a good offer on the C8 last year, and uh, you know that was pretty cool. And then this year, because the the market for everything right now is insane, but the ZR1 market especially, I've been seeing manual ZTK cars. So ZTK meaning big wing, um, manual ZTK cars with the comp seats and low mileage going for almost 200 grand. And somebody offered me 180 for my car. Now 180 isn't 200. And yes, mine is modified, but that doesn't necessarily make your car worth more. It does have 11,000 miles on it. So, but 180 though. And to think I paid 130 for it. Now that was years ago and the market is again, much higher, but 180 had a guy come up and he was pretty, you know, just like last year, guy was seemed pretty serious older guy you know i think he had some money he had a nice watch on i mean he looked like he had money and he said yeah you know i'd love to have one of these i like the blue accents you know most of them have the red calipers and all that um but yeah i mean 180 is a lot of money and it, it's tempting to take 180 for the car knowing that i only paid 130 for it but i'm sure i know what everyone is going to say and i don't think i could sell it either but it's still fun to get the offer a little bit windy again but here is the gm10 and they have a c8r edition c8 corvette you can see gray with the jake skull on it yellow stripes up top and uh it's a pretty cool looking car there pretty cool pretty cool but in my opinion all of this is whatever who cares everyone is waiting on the z06 so as cool as the c8r edition is and it's neat you know it's a cool little graphics package everyone's waiting on the z car and that should be out soon so although like these c8s are all right i'm not re i'm not really excited i would get hyped though about a z car and i was really hoping gm would bring one out to the show because sometimes they do surprise you sadly no such luck on the z06 surprises from gm last three power plant here in a c2 this is a split window as well love it really cool resto mod so you basically get the looks of an old car but you get all the modern features and the drivability of a car from this era which i like but and a lot of people said like mike you should do that to your c2 or get when you get another one get one but honestly i don't i didn't mind the way it drove you know that the fact that it was a really old car i didn't mind it i thought i felt it was cool like if i want to drive a modern car I can drive a modern car and I get why people do it, but for me, I, I just didn't mind having an all original old C2. Speaking of C2s, a lot of them right here. And it makes me remember like two years ago when I was walking around looking at like looking at ones and thinking, oh, I'll get one. And then I got one, sold it, but I will get another one. And I remember looking at this car in blue because it's a beautiful color. It's a great color on that c2 fantastic plenty of corvettes to go around if you have never been to corvettes at carlisle and you're a corvette fan like me you should come here at least once uh, corvettes as far as the eye can see now again most of these aren't anything like groundbreaking so i don't normally like film every car i try to find the really unique and different stuff and show you guys like that that callaway c4 was super i've never seen one before only 10 of them yeah it's fun to look around and you can spend a whole day looking at corvettes and then you get the crazy stuff like here we've got what a darth vader themed vet darth vader here on this one darth vader with uh some blue accents and you have uh batman over here very cool callaway colorado right here big old supercharger on it looks like a whipple unit that's pretty cool is that a v8 or v6 v6 whipple okay 757 z06 i would imagine this car makes around like 650 700 wheel pretty cool and then if you look at their c8 i actually like what they did here the wing looks pretty good i've seen some wild wings on these like mike davenport now the wing it's cool but not for me and it looks a little bit like a little bit not matching the car in my opinion i'm sorry but this one's actually not too bad and it looks good with the wing with the uh the trunk lid down callaway there 
Nice wheels too, like a black chrome. I don't know what companies like Callaway are going to do because you can't tune these cars. And the whole thing with Callaway is that you get like a lightly modified car and it still has a warranty and you still maintain all your factory drivability and all that. If you have to use an aftermarket standalone ECU, that's not gonna work really anymore. And, and the functions of the car won't work. So I don't know what Callaway, like what is the business model going forward if you can't tune these cars. I guess you're stuck with kind of doing like appearance packages and it kind of seems like that's what they've got going on. Maybe they're only gonna do an aero kit and wheels and that might be it, which is a really big bummer. That's why I hate the fact that GM made these cars impossible to tune. They still have not been cracked yet. Um, that sucks. Well, filming a quick outro here in the garage because I forgot to film one and my camera died. So it's been a long weekend, a long weekend, but uh, the big news to take away is the ZR1 is fixed. Great. There's a fly in here. Great time at Corvette to Carlisle, as always. Uh, awesome Corvette show. Love meeting all you guys. We met, I mean, and Rich too had, this was his first, he might've came last year, but this was like his first year after having like a social media presence. And my God, the people that came to see him and um, so many people like that made his freaking day made his whole week made his whole maybe his whole year i don't know but um it was incredible so we'll definitely be there together again next year and if you'd like again if you like corvettes uh, you gotta come out but yeah the zr1 is good to go ready for pocono here in like five days from right or six days from right now and i have new tires we're gonna run the street r on the zr1 we'll try that see how it goes maybe it'll help a little bit more because the street ss has worked really well but um, they quickly died out. And I'm sure, you know, maybe I just have to get used to replacing tires every time I race, but um, I've heard a lot of people say the Street R is even better. And um, speaking of tires, my garage is a freaking disaster, but more on that, more on why all the stuff is out here later on. So I hope you enjoyed. If you did, give it a big thumbs up, take care, have a great night. I'll see you in the next one.